What is up guys, Vortex here, and today I'm going to be showcasing you uh, a game between myself playing Bagra Army and my opponent playing Armor Rush, and this is one of my first times actually playing Bagra Army, so I'm still learning the deck as I go, um, I must admit I'm not really enjoying it, um, and I think it's missing a lot of key cards, which will come in BT11, but um, yeah, as of right now, I'm not too sure I feel about it. Um, if you do enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I really do appreciate it. And there'll be some more Bagra Army content coming soon. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we have... Uh, I play uh, Soundbirdmon in Raising. And then I have the Eyesmon Scatter Mode. He goes to Lydramon and then swings into uh, the Eyesmon. So I get to... Disc uh, draw two, then discard one, then draw three, then discard two. Uh, I played this version of a Bagra army just because I need to find the Tamer. Um, what I realized in a little bit of theory crafting is that if you do not have the Tamer, this deck is uh, not so good. So we use these to dig, and my opponent has a really strong board here having double Lydramon, and I don't have a Tamer to put anything under the Soundbirdmon, uh, the Soundbirdmon effect to put one of the Tamer and draw one. So essentially, I'm kind of like a sitting duck here. Um, so I'm gonna start by just playing Matt and then passing my turn. So maybe I shouldn't have promoted there. Um, actually, probably shouldn't have done that at all, but um, yeah, I mean, I have to have a Tamer in play just so I can actually start saving some of these Digimon underneath Tamers for uh, when I get my Tamer. And so he goes into the Fire Rocket and does two swings. The second swing gets rid of his uh, armor and then I get Buzzing Fist, which allows me to play uh, the Bagra Army Tamer. But unfortunately, I don't have one. So I can't play it, and then it just goes to my hand, and then he has Magnamon. So at this point, I'm kind of like, I don't really have a massive answer uh, to deal with the current board. Um, I'm so far behind, whereas he's still got all of his security. Um, so I had to swing uh, to put one underneath the Tamer. Um, this is something I don't realize at the time, but I keep on forgetting to draw for the Soundbird one. Um, something that you should probably definitely, uh, definitely do if you're playing this deck, but, um, I'm gonna, by playing Buzzing Fist, I'm gonna finally find the Tamer, but unfortunately it's too late. I played this really badly, um, could have got the extra draw, and it was the top card, so it would have actually made a difference in this situation, potentially, so, yeah, so, <laughs> not really good, but I get to add one and then put one underneath the Tamer. And at this point, I'm just thinking if I'm going to scoop because I can't really do anything to Archery's board and I do scoop. And so we get into game two and there was a game before this. Um, I'm choosing not to upload it because quite frankly, it is very appalling um, from both of us in situations. But um, what I'm realizing is that if I don't have you, essentially this deck is dead. Like you need a tamer and you specifically need this tamer because it is your advantage engine. Um, so you'll see here, I get to swing, I get to use the sound bird mon effect to put underneath. I'm not drawing again, which is stupid of me because obviously I would love to get the advantage, uh, but I'm just not. But, um, I have two underneath the U already. And again, this is one of my first times actually playing the deck. So I'm still learning as I'm going and I make a pretty big misplay here. I use the effect of U and Mano because I'm about to play a four cost. Oh no, I play the U first and then I go into the... Uh, the four cost, which uh, allows me to use Uemano's effect to digi, uh, to basically put two underneath, uh, up to three underneath a level four or higher, to reduce its cost by uh, by uh, two for each, and just to give him one uh, memory. And it's it makes a lot of things a lot more cheaper. It's primarily for your Tactimon and your Blastmon, but. I wanted to do this just so I can get some advantage 
uh, to avoid him from uh, playing more cards and of course he has the out to it unfortunately so I've just wasted two materials here again I'm just trying to understand the limits of this deck and hopefully in the future we have to play this deck a lot more better for you guys but um, yeah it's it's not great but as it does get saved, I get to put it under you and Amani and it passes turn priority. So, we get to start off. We go into the Choo Choo Mon in Raising. Um, he still doesn't have a Memory Tamer, which is obviously really good. So, I can potentially choke him. But, unfortunately, I just don't have the material again. And, again, I have to Digicross from the sources. Um, probably not the greatest move here, quite frankly. I mean, it still could be punished quite easily. But, if he ends up playing a tamer or a digimon which is pretty likely this turn i felt um i'll be able to punish him uh, he swings two checks and then gets into the death x and then goes into the magnamon to pass turn to give me one and so at this point yeah i mean it's not great to say the least so i'm gonna have to swing with one of the choo choo or the troop mon uh probably gonna be the choo choo obviously to get to the additional draw but also save underneath you and uh, yeah, at this point, I, I've realized that um, I'm not doing good here. So he lets it go free, allows me to draw and discard one, and then I get to save, which allows me to gain a memory and draw an additional card. Again, like this combination is really good because all the cards in this deck have save. So this advantage engine keeps on going. It's just there isn't really much of an answer other, uh, other than actually having the tamer. So I know I harp on about that quite a lot in this in this gameplay uh, video but it is very important um because if you don't have the tamer you just can't do anything so i swing I, i'm tempted to swing here just due to the fact that i do need to get more pressure but i pass the turn as as you can see like i had the best of both worlds and this is a misplay here like i didn't realize at the time but fire rocket needs to be a two color card but it wouldn't have mattered in this situation because it would still be game um because uh, well, actually, it probably wouldn't be actually, but it doesn't really matter because I can't, don't really have any answers. So that is game. 